people he's lost to in SoCal is Larry and Boyd. Really? That's the only people he's lost sets to. That's saying quite a bit. You that know that's saying something with your your losses. Your losses. <laughs> All right. That's how you know you're scary. Like, fam, it doesn't matter who I beat. These are only players that I've lost to, dog. Right. That's some scary stuff. Yeah, and SoCal definitely stacked in terms of, like, talent. Like, not, like, super crazy top-heavy, but, like, even coming down at the totem pole, it's just, like, a very well-versed of, like, high-level players. So it's just, like, I mean, when you get out of, like, you got Boyd and Lair, of course, the two, like, super titans of SoCal, and then yes, from there, like, I've seen many of the high-level players in SoCal take sets off Larry. Yes, so, it's, it's doable, but it's hard, though. Yeah, it's very hard. I know Larry just actually came into Nebraska. We had a... Not like a oh, regional, yeah, mo yeah, you know. Body, yeah, well, well, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. It's Black History Month. You don't need to relax, player. Okay, look, it wasn't. A, I mean, it was kind of a body, but it, it was Yeti was playing against and Mega Man and yeah, two. Yeti, Yeti, rising talent, Yeti. Oh yeah. So. Yes, definitely, man. Definitely knows how to tank with some of the best ones. But unfortunately, you know, Yeti is not here. But we got. Uh, am I saying this right? It's, it's Eon, right? Yes, Eon sure. versus Eon. Son Sonic. Okay, Sonic. So Sonic is from the Dominican Republic. Oh, nice. Yes. You know, I actually just made a tweet the other day about wanting to see more. You know, obviously we show Japan a lot of love. We got to show all the surrounding regions a lot of love right, too. So I'm right. glad we're getting some, uh, you know, Dominican Republic up there. Yeah. So good. Sonic is one of the top players for the Dominican Republic up there with Sharpie Guard and all those other guys. Oh, shout out to Sharpie. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to Sharpie. So I'm glad, like you said, you know, that mixing is hot. We talk about a lot about all these other regions, but you know, of course, we also have the Dominican Republic coming out here, showing up as well. And Sonic, mm -hmm. definitely a character that a lot of people think is not good, but it's not true. Definitely not true. No, no, no. That's that's Sonic actually is, is really good. That's actually incorrect. The Sonic Man wants you to think that he's not good. Oh, so that that's the mix-up. Okay, yeah. that's the mix-up. No, that character is actually ridiculous. Yeah. Uh, Midwest Mayhem Ultimate. <clears throat> Ken. Uh, yeah, Ken. Skirm and I were commentating, and I didn't even realize like how nutty that character was until I was like, wow. Homie attack just doesn't care about anything Toon Link does at all. I don't care about your bow and arrow. I don't care about your boomerang. I don't care about your forwarder. I don't care I about have, recovery. I definitely don't care about that because I have homing attack. Homing attack is actually a very, very strong move in Sonic's arsenal. And I expect to see a lot of it used here in this matchup, especially as Fox tries to recover awkwardly back to the stage. Yeah, and I... One thing about Fox, since they increased the startup on Illusion, now Sonic can homing attack Illusion and Fire Fox. That's right. There is that increased startup. And homing attack now is pretty much Sonic's best move. I feel like that's oh, the free, one thing free. that a lot of Sonic players are not really used to yet, and that's the reason why they don't think he's too good. It's like homing attack was your worst move. Now it's your best move. That's right. And now Sonic is more of an aggressive character than a camping character. Oh, yeah. You don't, you don't shield out of spin dash. That's right. You know, he had a reputation for being very slow and very just right, defensive. Right. And, you know, Sonic can still very must be played like that too but the fact that now you know there's a bit of diversity here to sonic makes him that much scarier nice stuff gets the up smash not quite the hitbox he was looking for it though but at least get some off stage here's the pressure oh, yeah, oh okay did you almost read the sonic or the fox i almost said sonic illusion could you imagine no okay <laughs> almost read the fox illusion just a little bit off the mark though yeah, right now Sonic's kind of bleeding right now, only at 126, or he has at 126%. Eon at a very comfortable 54. Can Eon close out the stock? Okay, he's working at it. Really struggling though here. Playing up underneath that platform, I like that. Oh, the spring? No, he's not going to go for it. Just opposite catch the landing here. Forward smash, another insanely good move mm -hmm. from Sonic. That move is That's a sword. He's, he's, ba he's a swordman, basically, yeah, with that forward smash. He does, and oh, that back here almost like Eon. Fox is very light, so. Oh! He said, I might be light, but I hit like a ton of bricks, though, Korean. Yes. I like that upper as he was getting ready to try to punish him for snapping the ledge there. Even when he looks like he's losing, man, he has you right where he wants you. Yeah, and another thing I really want to point out is Eon is utilizing that shorten on the illusion. Illusion and Al has three different distances. You can hold forward, keep it neutral, or hold it back, and you'll actually like increase or decrease the distance of illusion. And right now, Eon is utilizing that shortened version so he can't get edge guard anymore. It makes sense. That's right, doing it very well, too. Holding on to his 138% lead, but for how much longer? Yes, Fox has a lot of conversions. Fox can actually play the slow game, too. Not as well as Sonic, but we've seen yeah. it happen a lot in doubles, and we see it happen in singles. Sooner or later, though, Sonic's going to find the access point. Yeah, sooner and, and right now, Eon is at 141%, uh -oh. but we're going to get the combo started. Ooh, not going to catch, but another up air connects, and Damn. even more. And that's something that hasn't changed. Yes. <laughs> up air to up air, baby. Oh, man, I know, <laughs> I know. One, you might, you might call me a dreamer, right? <laughs> maybe, maybe one day. Yeah, and it still does massive damage, but here comes Sonic. The That's right. Air. Pushing the advantage into the blast zone. I like that. Eon very well aware of what's going down using this Fox Illusion. And that's nice. one thing that like Sonic or just Fox has to be very careful of. Sonic has a very strong offstage versus Fox. Oh yes. Oh, really? try to go for it if it first goes to see. Gets two in a row. Winds up. There's the forwarder. This is his time to succeed. Oh. Beautiful stuff. And as I say it, here comes Sonic yes. with the offstage edge guard here. Now 
putting it into his favor. That spring really good in disadvantage. Gonna give him that extra little tool, almost like another jump. That's right. Oh, trying right. to get the up smash yes. here, but Eon not gonna able to close it out. The forward smash at the ledge not gonna connect. Yes, good pressure though. Just a little, little too early on the trigger. Allows my man Sinus back towards center stage, oh. but it doesn't matter though. That stock right there was never his. We got it evened out here. Six percent on my man Eon. 0% yeah. my man Sonic. Sonic's right now playing a little bit more calm, cool, and collected. Like you said, Sonic has opportunity to play aggressively now, but I don't expect to see that happen too much here versus Fox. I love Sonic. I love the way this character is designed. I just don't want to trade blows with Fox. Though. Exactly. You don't, you don't want to do that. And you don't want to give Fox that opening. Once you give Fox that up air opening, you're going to take a lot of damage. Yes. And even Eon, I mean, both these players, oh man, the platform is going to get him back on stage. But both these players are weaving in and out, just utilizing both their speeds as such fast characters. Yes, sir. Oh, oh, there's up till oh. there's the back. I didn't even think he'd be able to sneak that one there. He's out of a jump. Has used his back air, air and then the air dots. Yes. Fantastic and utilization of your tools and very strong situational awareness just to be so cognizant of where you are off stage. Oh, yeah. And if you, if you thought that Sonic's recovery couldn't get better, yeah. it, it just did. That's right. <laughs> As if Sonic the Hedgehog need to be. I mean, hell, at this point, he has a sword for its mass, has the, the fastest character on foot. At this point, he just needs a gun. Oh, yeah. Just, just give Sonic a gun at this point. I mean, what else? Come on, right? But who's gonna find the stock? Both of these characters at last stock, last hit situation. Okay, but throw? He has to grab. Oh, grab oh. release. Oh, wait a minute. Sonic's is a little tricky with this movement. What does he want to get? Oh, Eon tries to look for the dash stack. It's spin dash into the up air, and we still got that on deck. And Sonic's gonna take game number one versus Eon. What the heck? I've looked. I've seen a lot of matches in my time. I certainly thought with how that match was wrapping up, Eon was going to try to close it out. It was like he was about to just, you know, time of death. He was going to call it. Yeah. We're going to move into game number two. Beautiful stuff to, to Sonic. Sticking to the game plan in hand and not switching up even though the odds are pitted against you. Oh, yeah. And, you know, he really, he really brought it back on the second stock. Yes. You know, we were talking, he was down, like, a, a huge amount of percent. And he got that sick, nasty edge run on the right side. And amazing play. And just like the being able to be have that mental fortitude. You know you're down, and you know what you have to do to win, and you just gotta take it. Yes, you just need that one open, that one area of opportunity. But I feel like when you're at high percent, the name of the game is, yes, you're waiting for the opportunity, but you don't want to wait too long, though. You've been waiting too long at high percent. There's a good chance your opponent is starting to download you as well. And these bo both of these two gentlemen just certainly very just well aware, very intellectual play, uh, play styles that they bring to the table. And I, I almost feel like both these guys are playing the same play style. They're playing very hit and run. Yes. They're utilizing both their characters' movement speed and just looking for that one opening that they need. Okay, we're seeing a lot of dash hacking, a lot of short hop there. Nice. Gets the drag down fair. Couldn't quite turn it into anything, but at least it's enough to keep Sonic off stage. Oh, got to respect the nair. The nair bait. Condition oh. him to roll. I like that. Ran right into an up tilt. He's going to run into another one. There's homie attack. We need to see more of that, though. We haven't quite yeah. been seeing a lot of it. Yeah, Sonic is a little reserved with his homie attacks. I, I, like I said, I, I, it's such a great move, and we, we definitely should see that more. Like yes, I said, it's, it's such a good move, and it would be such a good option for him. And just as we say it, here it comes. Okay. Good footwork here, dashing in and out, looking to catch an overextension here at that time. Beautiful stuff, you know, Eon so good at playing at close quarters when he's like at the corner of the stage. He knows how to keep the opponent in a very, very bad position where Sonic though kind of exceeds is that he likes to play the long game. He knows if you're on one side of the stage and I have all this room over here to get my footwork together, you're not going to be able to touch me. Wow, right over that And he tilted it up that time. Did you see that? That was some sneaky stuff. Gets the jab lock. Of course, can't get quite as much off the jab locks in this game, but using the rapid jab to hold Sonic's at bay. Something so simplistic yet so strong in his matchup. Yeah, I like that from Eon. Got, didn't let him set up. Oh, Eon, they're not going to connect, but Nair going to still have his ledge trap situation, though. Beautiful ledge trap. That's right, Nair right out of shield. Again, another Nair. Has to trade a little percent. As I said before, Sonic just doesn't quite have the luxury to keep trading with Fox here. And Eon is avoiding that back here like the play. He does not want to get hit by that. <laughs> no. Oh, God, dude. I don't blame him. <laughs> I don't want to get hit with either of these two characters back here. It's very, very strong. Okay, wow. okay comes in with the dash attack. Eon is being so slippery right now. It, 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 Sonic can't find his opening, and another stock will get shaped away. The Nair and the up smash. All because he missed the tilt. All because he literally missed the tilt. He was able to Nair him into up smash. That is so crazy that he could just wear so many hats in his matchup. You know, we get we get the up close and personal game. Then we get the long game here from Eon. Sonic's looking a little outclassed right now. Oh, yeah. And Eon just doing such a good job. And that's the strength about Fox. He's so fast. He gets up in the air so quick. And then he's just jumping all around. And he wants to fall onto you with Nair. He gets so much damage if he hits you in there and falls down onto you. And there's just so much follow-up. So it's so tricky. And you got to also respect that dash attack as well. There's 
so much things you got to respect against Fox. Yes, most certainly, man. You got to put a lot of respect on his name. Let's just call for what it is here. Oh, okay, the nice. The forward, yes, has to burn the directional air dodge. That could have been scary business. There's oh, the Fox man. illusion up there. Doesn't get both hits, uh, though. The homing attack actually stalled him out, so he didn't get hit by that up smash. Really great play coming out from Sonic. But the illusion to the up air, not going to be enough. Oh, One more. wow, the up air almost connecting. Oh. Okay, Sonic finally getting that first stock, but can, that is possible, right? That's right. Uh, it was a little late in the game here. 125% is definitely not where you want to be, but, you know, if there's a will, there's certainly going to be a way here for Sonic. I mean, at the bare minimum, even if he does lose this game, he has another game yeah. to work with here. He, he got the game one. That's so right. That, that's all that matters. So, I mean, if you're Sonic, you're still going to try to bring it back, but it's more so like you're trying to get the download for the next game. Because that's, I mean, that's the most probable thing. But let's see if Sonic can get something started here. The up air not going to fully connect. He's having so much trouble at the ledge here, but he's pushing the advantage right now. Okay. He's off stage. There's the up air. Okay, he's going to catch this landing. No, yeah, I'm going to get the shield off just in time on that platform. Okay, like that. Tries to catch him right through that platform. That was a very, very deceptively placed uh, back here right there from Eon. Sonic's off of his feet, though. And you got to watch out. That illusion will actually kill at around 180%. It'll just straight kill you. Oh, wow, that's right. That's right. So, I mean, he's... He's kind of bleeding. He's 20 more percent straight illusion will just get the stock. And, but oh. right now, he's getting this damage. The percent's climbing here, but I know Eon has a, one more trick left up his sleeve. There's the Fox illusion, like hey. you talked about, man. Sent them straight up into the oblivion. I thought 180, but I, I guess 160. Yeah. <laughs> well, the fact that that move can even kill the way it does, it's, I don't know, man. It, it's actually crazy. Why, but, Fox? I mean, why? Why Fox, man? Why Fox are not me, Gunner? <laughs> why Fox are not Kirby? Kirby, I mean, hell, Sakurai made Kirby. Show him some love. Yeah. I, you know, Fox didn't get enough screen time in all the other games, you know? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> Fox will always be good, man. Even, even she kind of sucks now, but, like, Fox is good. It's, like, Fox. actually great. <laughs> Just the way this character is designed, I suppose, man. But anyway, though, Bobby Sue guys designed for one more game here, man. man who's Town and City. Strings, I know somebody's pulling the strings, man. <laughs> somebody's playing Geppetto here. I don't know who's doing it. <laughs> all right, so right now, we're going to be on Town and City. Um, I actually think it's a really good counter, counter pick coming out from Sonic. Town of City actually now has the highest ceiling out of all the competitive stages rather than before in Smash Bros. the shortest. Uh -huh. so right now, I feel like um, Sonic wants to just live as long as possible. Sonic yes. um, is really good. He's tanky. He's got a really good recovery. He can live to very like, high percent. Mm -hmm. Well, definitely. And then again, you know, he has some space to kind of work with here as well. So with this in mind, I don't expect to see some of that close quarter combat that we've seen in that game number two, man. You know, he just kind of got smothered. I, I want to see him kind of... Use the fact that he has homing attack and use the fact that he's a little bit faster on foot than Fox to his advantage. I like uh, Sonic's he, He'll do the spin dash, but then he'll jump into the wave land down. Yeah. Not as good as canceling the shield, but still like a way to cancel spin dash. That's right. And I like that. I mean, I mean, if, if you're really close to doing homing attack off stage here. Uh-oh. Fox Eon? losing. Stops oh, right in front of him. Yeah. That could have been scary business there for Eon. Sonic so kind of let him off the hook. Yeah, that, that's one thing a lot of players are still getting used to. Yeah. You know, oh, yeah. I mean, you, you played the game for so long, like 10, 10 plus years of like knowing that Fox goes through a shield. And it's hard to, you know, relearn that habit. Could oh. you imagine? Oh, no. The, whoa, whoa, whoa. The Gives sword. Him with the, the sword. <laughs> Two frames of man. Scott. Got the uh. sword hit, and Fox wasn't even grabbing the ledge. He wasn't even anywhere close. He hadn't even <laughs> thought about snapping a ledge Dang. yet. All right, and man. Sonic has the lead, but let's see what he can finally do with this. Wow, the wave land right in front of Eon, too. Eon kind of not ready for that situation, not going to get the punish there. Mm -hmm. And right now, Sonic was able to seal out that stock, and he's going to be tanking really hard. He's at 126, but we're on town to see really high ceiling here. Uh -oh. The Fox likes to kill off the top. There it is. Okay, gets the up air from up and knee. Gets oh, the yeah. short hop there, trying to tack on some more. Yeah. Trying to tack on some more percent here. Now he understands that he might not be able to get any buttons going. He might not be oh. able to actually put on any damage, but the fact that he's up underneath Eon was enough yeah. to kind of make things a little scary for him. But even scarier, though, on Sonic's behalf, because the minute he let Eon back on the center stage, you've seen what the heck happened. Oh, yeah. And right now, I just like how Sonic's was like, he knew he, um, Eon wanted falling there so badly, and he's doing such a good job in anti airing it. Got 54%, but uh, Fox uh, the damage output not too scary for Fox to come back on. No, definitely not. Definitely not. <laughs> Here's a down throw. He's gonna try to get some lasers, but a nice jump away from Sonic here. Ooh, we are right, nice using it. Homie. Oh my lord! Homie attack what? back air, Korean? Homie attack back air. That just happened. <laughs> did, did I see that correct? I was that, making sure I had to get a second was, opinion. <laughs> yes, that was definitely the combo there, and Sonic gonna clutch it out that second stock eon now down a whole entire stock but he's off stage once again so oh it almost makes you wonder sword. it almost makes you wonder who the hell was that in that last game yeah like, yeah was that even sonic that must have been somebody that must have been his amiibo or something playing because this is a completely <laughs> sonic this is sonic reborn oh yeah and he is turning it up right now and wow just moving on him and 
getting Eon to bait out those defensive options. And right now, Sonic, wow, you can see it's a whole other player setting right. up for the forward air. There but forward smash, not gonna connect. Okay, not that time. Nice. Position himself a little bit better there to catch Fox Illusion. There's the up tilt. Can't oh, quite get the up air. Yes. Gets the up smash though. Close quarters here. Now, as we've seen, Fox has the ability to make a very, very big comeback. He can top away any lead just off of getting something as simplistic as a dash attack, something like an up tilt. Sonic's gonna have to play very safe. You don't want to walk into uh, to Fox's traps. Yeah, and you gotta be careful. I mean, you have a percent lead against Fox, but like we pointed out, uh, Fox loves dealing damage. Yes, that <laughs> he does. He's definitely one of the best damage output characters in the game right now. So a lot of people put this character very high, like top five in their list. So mm -hmm. you gotta be careful. You gotta respect that. And Sonic is doing exactly that. Yes, he's playing very, very safe. Playing the keep away game here. Oh, there's the board air. That's gonna be enough to do it. Phenomenal game number one for Eon.